So I'm excited right now because I'm living a dream. You see, right now, I believe we have the technology to be able to talk to our younger selves. See, this message is for my 15-year-old self back in 1987, 88. A little guy that's trying to figure out his life right about now. See, I want to make this video for him because he's got an important message that he needs to share and he needs some encouragement right about now. So I'm hoping this video will do that. See, because at 15 years of age, Calvin Evans is dealing with what is his life all about. His parents recently got divorced. He breaks his leg playing softball. He's 15 years old. What He's trying to figure out what's going to happen. It's a little bit upside down. He's got two younger brothers that he wants to be a hero for. He loves them. He's got a mom that's working really hard to try and provide food and shelter for three growing boys, because they can eat. He's trying to figure out what's he going to do. He lives in Texas. He's dealt with some racism. He's been attacked a few times in terms of the difference of his skin color. He's dealt with anger and frustration and rage. But he's also had some joy, too. He's had adventures. See, because as a little boy, he watched Jacques Cousteau, Mr. Man, who could make anything look wonderful. He was a great, great man that talked about the importance of taking care of the oceans. And he wanted to be like him. So at the tender age of four, he decides to act like he's swimming underneath the water by going underneath the bed and swimming. While his mom is six months pregnant, he gets his head stuck underneath the bed. She has to lift the bed up to get his head from underneath and thereby breaking her water. My brother was born that day, thanks to me. He had this insatiable hunger for adventure. He loved watching Wild Kingdom. And he said one day, he's going to be that adventure guy. So at 15 years of age, he's a little perplexed. Why are things so difficult? Why is life so difficult? Because there's a message that you have to share. And that message is for our use for today. You see, the youth of today are a little lost. We have these amazing things called cell phones. They have applications that we can actually speak to one another, even if you're right next to them. It's pretty amazing. Instead of just putting it down and having a face-to-face -face conversation. See, at 15 years of age, Calvin doesn't realize the importance just yet that his life has a powerful, powerful story. And that even though his parents are separated, that one day he will have a better relationship with his father because his dad was in Vietnam and he was angry a lot. It wasn't until later, until 2004, that he realized he had PTSD. He doesn't know the name to call that. So he's just trying to work through it. And so finally, finally, as he's getting ready to graduate, he tries to figure out what's he going to do. He joins the United States Air Force, a, a recruiter that actually cared, someone that wanted the best for him, a father figure that spoke into his life. So what does he do? He becomes a Russian and Chinese cryptological linguist. He learns languages that he never dreamed of being able to do before. But that wasn't the it. The it factor was going to survival school. Yeah. He learns how to take care of himself, survive, go through POW training. It was awesome. 
Why? Because it was a rite of passage. See, for today, right now, what's going on? Our technology is so great that we can be so engrossed that we're not making our own stories. It needs to become second best. Social media needs to become second best, not just for young people, but for everyone. We all have a story. So I'm telling Calvin in this future realm, this time, that sometimes we can get lost and distracted. There was a study by Johns Hopkins University that had a very important finding this past year. It stated that 19-year-olds had the lifestyle of an average 60-year-old person, meaning this, that the World Health Organization states that every day for an active lifestyle to be healthy, you have to have 60 minutes of moderate to intense type of exercise. So, the study had over 12,000 participants. They ranged from 6 to 11, 12 to 19, and older. And what they found was pretty staggering. They said that from the ages of 6 to 11, the, the amount of boys that did that amount of exercise was about 25%. The girls were about 50%. Now from 12 to 19, it jumped up to 50%, and then for girls, 75%. Just let that sink in for a minute. There have also been studies about the effects of social media on the brain, the amount of anxiety, cyberbullying. It's something about these applications that give us the reason to not be truly connected. So I'm sharing with you, Calvin, do not forget the dream that you have about being that adventure guy because you're going to inspire others to do the same thing. While I was in the Air Force, I had a chance to travel. I had a chance to dive. It was awesome. I could act like I was Jacques Cousteau for a little bit. I saw amazing things. I saw sea snakes. I saw different kinds of fish. It was so awesome. And I wanted to be able to share that passion with others. But the greatest passion that I wound up finding while I was in the military was my wife. And she challenged me to be the best me that I could possibly be. And I've put her through the ringer sometimes with this whole, I want to do adventure. I want to live life as an adventure, and we have. Ten kids. Most of them girls. <sighs> I've had to learn how to be very sensitive. And it's been the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. So, getting out of the military, 1998 was a tough thing because I'm homeless with kids. Trying to figure out corporate America. Not gelling too well and trying to find that niche because I still have that desire in me to be an adventure guy. So I get involved with rock climbing, I get involved with outdoor sports, and then I try out to be a boot camp outdoor instructor. Early in the morning, six in the morning, I'm yelling at people to get their butts in shape. Woo! <laughs> Can't beat that. And I go on to do that for years and years and years. Yet, life is still difficult. Because sometimes, there are dream stealers and dream killers. And the message 
Calvin, it's so important is that don't give up the dream because you're going to learn some very valuable life lessons. You're going to learn about grounding, you're going to learn about vision, and you're going to learn about preparation. See, for today, our youth and our young people need to remember that social media isn't where it's at. That there's a bright, beautiful world out there that's begging, begging them to get involved. There are adults, Calvin, that you'll have to remind them that they had a dream once. And it was almost snuffed out because of people that didn't believe in them. What's going to be so awesome is this. You're going to start your own company. You're going to be helping thousands of people. It's going to be a national company. It's going to be international. It's going to be phenomenal. And you know the cool thing is, is that that's not going to be the it for you. Because in this adventure of life, you're going to do something that you didn't think you'd ever want to do. You're going to become a foster care parent. Duh. How about that? Not only that, it's going to be a sibling group of four. So you have six kids already, four, that means ten kids. Hmm. But you know what? You're going to know what it means to encourage them too. See, the encouragement that they're going to need is from all the tough things that you've had to face. And guess what? You're going to encourage them not to get on social media. You're going to encourage them to exercise, encourage them to get out and play, encourage them to think about what is beyond their situation and their system because they've been hurt. The system calls them damaged. However, it's the system that's damaged, not them. The system wants to keep them victims. And you've got to encourage and remember that because, again, unfortunately, you will have to go through tough times because they'll be taken away because the system doesn't believe that you're doing a good job. And hopefully someday it'll change. So I share all this not to be a downer because you're an adventure dude. And you're going to rock this thing. And I'm proud of you. Sometimes you might not hear that. Sometimes you, not be, you might not be encouraged. Sometimes people won't understand why you keep going the way you're going or doing what you're doing. That's OK. Stay the course. It's worth it. Because these three important things that you want to do in your life as you encourage young people, encourage people, is this. It's about being grounded. So you're going to create in your life a very active prayer life. You're not going to care about religion or anything else or what anybody else has to say, but you, because of your experiences and the tough things that you have gone through, are going to learn to overcome. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Remember that. You're going to learn something else, that Yeshua HaMashiach is what you're going to have your faith on, and that it's not going to be a game. You're going to be grounded more so in your prayer life than ever because of all the trials that you'll go through. The vision you're going to have, oh, the vision. You see, at this time right now, in our country, in our nation, there's a lot of anger and hatred. People don't like this person. People don't like that person. And you know what that's all about because you had to live through it. But you know what? Love covers a multitude of sins. Don't forget to remind them the importance of love. 
That vision that you had was based off of a book called A White Stone by Jim Corbett. That book challenged you to have a vision of the future and that you can be a part of that and that no matter how tough it is, you can, you can do it. You can make it. Don't give up. Encourage others to have that vision too. A vision is what keeps you sane and focused to remind you that when the storm is raging around, you can do it. Never forget that. Preparation, it's your business. It's about inspiring people to live the best that they can be, to live life as an adventure, to be in shape mentally, physically, spiritually, to encourage communities to come together, to be reminded that we are not meant to sit all day long in an area of maybe eight by eight, maybe, that there is a whole world out there that needs each and every single person to be a part of it as an adventure. It's really cool though, I gotta tell you this, this is really cool. You're actually gonna be on a show and you're gonna show how that works. It's gonna be on the Discovery Channel, but I can't tell you more. This business is going to be extremely important for you. Why? Because it's going to be the culmination of people that have spoken into your life, Calvin. They encouraged you. They supported you. They were there for you. They believed in you. And instead of what's going on now with all the anger against everyone else, that hopefully you can remind them to, to speak words of life and to the youth of today. Preparation, Calvin. It's based off a of community of elders and adults reinvesting again in youth, young people. See, the reason why we have the social media is because, unfortunately, we've forgotten about our youth and we just wanted to put them aside. Now, what we get to do is we get to help them again to live life as an adventure. So, in closing, a culmination of all the things that you've gone through or will go through, I will repeat a poem by an awesome artist, Derek Miner. They say that I would never make it. Look at me now. I would say that they're mistaken. Look at me now. I was born broken naked. Look at me now. But I know the Lord's gracious. Look at me now. Thank you. <laughs>